Okay. Welcome to my channel. This is, um, the audio didn't come out. So I'm playing this on my laptop and recording with my iPhone. Now, here I'm turning on centers. I have a 12L14 bar. It's about six and a quarter inches, maybe six inches. And what I'm trying to do is uh, test uh, the alignment of my tailstock. And came out to be between right around four and a half to five. thousandths of an inch over six inches. So let's fast forward 30 seconds at a time here. Here I'm, uh, let's back up. Here I'm demonstrating that uh, I have a A little uh, magnet in there. Not only does it collect the steel chips, but it um, holds that firmly to my uh, headstock. And there's some more turning on, uh, more turning on centers. Some audio actually did turn up. Um, let's see here. I'm just running my mouth, I guess. Um, when I turn that bar around to clean up the other end, uh, the shaft on my BC gear uh, froze up and caused a bit of havoc and uh, caused all the other gears to start skipping and make a pretty horrible noise. And there's um, some Ian videos um, explaining that. I have no idea what I'm talking about here. Here is an idea I got from uh, Frank Hoos and um, got a spring under the plate. And here we go. And that is a tremendous help. Uh, keeps that thing from dragging and getting caught. Uh, I'm demonstrating that I do not have the cam lock. And I'd like to get all that cleaned up and possibly uh, try to get a push me, pull me screw situation so I could adjust that. Here I think I'm going to show off my... Uh, my lathe dog that I made, just a piece of aluminum, long rod is quarter 20, it's 10 30 seconds on the set screw, it's um, I think uh, 9 sixteenths on the material hole. MT3 dead center. Expecting some uh, MT2 machinable MT2. Well, that's a tool holder. What well, you know what I'm talking about? 
I'm turning here well beyond the normal capacity of this lathe. If I, uh, I'm demonstrating here by removing the thread count, the, the, that thing, the thread dial. Um, this is where my carriage would stop with the thread dial on. And the second line is where I can go with the thread dial removed. And that gives me two more inches, which is pretty gigantic you know, when you only have maybe six in the first place. I probably need to clean that blood off my tool post lock and click through here. Okay, this is, uh, let's back up there. This is a bed extension. Little machine shop cells. There's a lead screw or new rack, chip tray, all the hardware, and that uh, 16 it turned my uh, 10 into a 16. It's about $200.